Alright, what is up guys? We are back with The Promised Neverland, Chapter 78. The first one down. Now, is that referring to, like, the kids or the demons? I don't know. Uh, because last chapter <laughs> had me really nervous. Like, even though Beanie Girl, like, had the advantage, like, she was on top of that other demon, like, about to shoot him down, the fact that it left off on that cliffhanger, um, the fact that we didn't see that demon dead last chapter and we have to wait till this chapter to see if he is truly dead has me a little bit nervous because like I feel like in a second that demon can like turn the tables and, and do something. I don't know. Um, but all I do know is that Beanie Girl needs to be protected. So leave her alone. She better not die, dude. She better not die. Um, Alright, so let's get into it. And this cover page is pretty badass, dude. I love it. <laughs> Alright, the loathsome devil has nowhere to run. Um, what's happening? What happened to them? Uh, they are mere Grand Valley meat, and not even escapees, but simple, simply fools who spent their whole lives on the plantation uh, or here. They don't know anything, do they? All they ever did was run away like small fry, like the small fry they are. They've never even held a gun before, and yet... All that was part of their plan. How did they even know about our vital point in the first place? He thought all of, he taught us all we needed. Um, who was it that she was talking about? Who could he possibly be? Uh, okay, he took out a knife, but it was shot out of his hand. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call this guy Goggles. So we got Goggles and Beanie Girl. Um, he's got those eyes of a killer, man. Seriously. Alright, so now the demon's trying to run away. Help me, a monster, help. Huh, ain't that ironic, huh? <laughs> you calling the kids monsters, ain't that ironic? Um, anyway, uh, I'll give you 10 seconds, kill it. Uh, get away from me. Uh, damn it, damn it all. Why should someone like me fall to the cattle, humans? Um... Alright, you win this time. Like hell, the cattle shall know its rightful place. I'll grant you whatever it is that you desire. I'll overlook your offenses against my person this time. So that so stop this at once. Let us discuss these matters. It is really cool also that we're like getting like this demon's perspective on the matter, when I feel like, you know, last chapter was more so like in the in the kids. Uh, perspective like we did hear this guy talk a little bit but i definitely like that we're like literally in this guy's shoes like so far this entire chapter um so i have to buy time two minutes no one minute is enough i can smell it lord bayon is heading in this direction Fuck. damn it um uh he will help me for sure and then i'll rip apart these insolent i will give you 10 seconds no i won't Give it up. Your comrades aren't coming. No one will save you. You're not getting a single second. Wait. Just think about it, alright? You could beat me, but those tricks won't work on them. You don't have the slightest chance against the Archduke and the others. Uh, there's still time. I'll forgive you all. Really, right? Come on. Be reasonable. We were just playing around, you know? <laughs> and do it, Gilligan. Uh, if you kill me, my dad will. No, wait. Oh, my sister to think something like this. Like this did that to us. Hey, stop it. Don't do that. Okay. Finally did. I was getting a little bit nervous that... Like, I don't know. It was making me a little nervous that it was taking this long to actually put the bullet in the guy's head. But I'm, I'm glad it's done. Uh, now we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> because if Bayon is literally on his way here, then we need to, like, get out of here and, like, re regroup, I guess. Um... <laughs> So anyway, who said we'd use the same tactics with them? The other three are most certainly not like you. We have our trump cards. Of course, we'd never waste that on someone so pathetic. Among the five leaders, Luce was the weakest, so we are saving our best shots for the others. Six minutes and 22 seconds as of now. The first one is down. Let's move on to the next step. Um, oh, so these two are a part of the five? Okay. Two of them, huh? This kid and one more hiding, correct. They are protecting one another quite well, cooperating to evade us. Seems like up until now they've been going for the long con, don't you think? This is wonderful. After hide and seek, the cattle children want to play tag with us. And for real this time, how fun. 
However, we've drawn the short stick, and neither of these is the Gracefield human, which means we can't kill them. If the head count goes down here, we'll have to cancel today's prize game. Just play along without killing them. Yes, let's go for it. Still, what pitiable, pitiable, pitiable? There's no F in there, so, wait. Oh, yeah, pitiable? I, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> um, anyway, creatures. Such a long time putting up a force, uh, training hard in secret, and it's all for nothing. They can't win. In this playground of our design, there's nothing you can use to kill us. Um, oh, so he actually got the gun? Yeah, he did, okay. Um, interesting, man. Like, the other, the other demon was fighting with, like, a small knife, but this guy, first of all, fighting, fighting with a spear that has, like, electricity around it as well? Crazy. Um, okay, so, Sandy. Right, so our side has no means of victory, and they are aware of that. It's not just their normal arrogance, either. They are right. They left nothing here good enough to kill them. The humans aren't supposed to know their weak point. And even if they do, their masks are too strong. Their bodies can't resurrect. Or their bodies can resurrect. Uh, shoot them all you want with those weapons. They left us. Uh, they will never fall. Um, is this... This is Sandy saying all of this? Like, what? Um, if you have a good strategy, maybe your chance is not zero, but still. Um, their leaders are seriously dangerous, including uh, Nuis and Noma here. First of all, I have to cut off their movement. Uh, that might be enough for the likes of Lucy's group, but that's about it. Based on their sheer physical power, the other three groups are way beyond reach. Um, look, a trap. Nice. Cool, cool. Um... Oh, well done. I thought they were just running away at random, but I see that's not true at all. Right, but it won't do them any good. You're right. Even if we could bind them down with some sort of trap, you couldn't just jump in and take off their masks by hand. These ones won't go down that easily. Yes, there's nothing we can do. That's what we wanted you to think. Cool, alright. <laughs> you got, Sandy, you got me. You got me with that. Um, if we can't take off their masks, then there's nothing else to do but destroy them. But of course, these weapons they gave us aren't strong enough for that. So we will make our own, we will make them better. We will use these builds. Weapons strong enough to blow their masks to pieces. Uh, we worked very hard to get a hold of materials. We had to pile uh, failure upon failure until we finally arrived at this situation. Eight years! Eight years of work and we have only five shots and three special rifles for them. We can't afford to miss. <laughs> I have to blast them dead on with one shot each. Um, do that and these two monsters can be killed. Hit the bullseye. That's insane, dude, that they've been like... I mean, I know they've been like working at this for like a long time, but like... Even like the weapons plan, they knew that the weapons that they had... Um, wasn't gonna be sufficient enough to kill the demons. So, that's crazy, dude, that they knew back then that they had to prepare weapons strong enough to do it. and just think about that too like like even he was saying like it was like failure upon failure so like just eight years of like honing in like the perfect weapon to get this done and there's definitely like a ton of like trial and error to get like exactly what they needed um to be able to blow off the demons like mask to pieces or whatever um it's really cool man i'm, I'm really digging that um, just like the preparation that's going into this, man. Like, it's really, really cool. Um, yeah, just, just the fact that they've been doing this for, for that long under the demon's noses is really, really cool. Um, it almost makes me question, like, how, how did they keep this secret for so many years? Like, and how did the demons not, like, catch a whiff of this at all, man? Like, it's crazy, man. Um... But yeah, I mean, I guess that's that's pretty much it. Um, not too much uh, in this chapter besides... Uh, okay, so actually, we do know now that there's like five leaders, right? Um, beanie Girl. Amen to the Beanie Girl. She took she took out with um, the goggle, Goggles. Um, him, both Goggles and Beanie Girl were able to take out one of the leaders. Um, Luce, Luce or Luce, whatever you want to call him. Um, so that is one down, like the chapter said, um, four left. Um, 
the problem was is that Luce was the weakest amongst the five, so we're like working our way up now, it looks like. Uh, it looks like these uh, two demons that we're fighting now are probably the next, like, like maybe just above um, Luce, but probably not as strong. Uh, they still make me nervous a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's 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 cool. It's cool to see that we're like moving up the the food chain. I mean, it's cool for us reading it, but it's probably not cool for the kids that are going through this. Um, but nonetheless, it's it's pretty cool to to kind of find that out. Um, yeah, that one that we were we were able to kill one out of the five, um, and uh, I guess just the other major thing that happened was just. The weapons i guess i guess i don't know um but yeah that's that's pretty much it for the chapter like i said not too much happened but um the little bit that we did get was uh pretty cool um so yeah like comment subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next week peace